What's going up you guys? T Blue my here. Welcome back to So Night. Oh, okay. And today we are gonna do the world boss. I haven't done world boss for a while because I don't know what to do next. I feel like it's so boring. So I decided I'll try something new. So this is something new I'm gonna do. I've done the world boss before, but not that active there. But yeah, I'll be planning to make a playlist of it. So, anyway then, what we have here, we're gonna start off the strategies. I know people want to use her for the debuff, but... Instead of Alicia, go for Jack. It's it's much easier. But if you guys can pull off Shane, because as you can see, his skill actually remove all buffs, so it's gonna make it harder for Shane to attack. So that's something. So, I highly recommend Shane. No, no, I highly recommend you should keep with um, Jupy. Yeah. And for Jade, passive to the deep of, for six turns. And also, I got my Esputter up. Spend much farming to do and level up heroes to do. I know she haven't been maxed out, but I'll max out everything once I get things done. And because of her weakened skill, it's going to be much better. For sake, just for the crit damage on allies and also decrease cooldown of all allies will be worth needing. I guess that'll make sense why. I guess that'll make sense. But I'll explain later. That's explain. No. But I don't know how this person can defeat the world boss. I guess it's not a challenge. But anyway. Let's get right to the world boss. But I do karma for the increased damage. In every world boss, piercing damage. I should, I could have done this a while ago. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys what you do. Well, there's. Oh, that's because he used shade. Cool down. That's probably why. And guys, it's about being in strategy. I could have done this ago. Alright. And of course, waking skill charge. But I hope spoke too soon. It's gonna use his remove debuff. Yep, exactly. That's what he does. That's a little too soon. There we go. Now we're gonna get some damage. Now I'm waiting for... Now I'm powering up her skill. 
already after this. Now we'll be moving on. Yep, take out these minions. But that's the strategy. Then yeah, that's the strategy you can go for. Here it comes, guys. Now this does for four turns. Now we can get some damage going. Alright, so I've been talking for a while. So that's mostly what I'll do. Except that skill. Like always, I know it's annoying guys, but get used to it, because it's going to be sniping, sniping everywhere. All right, now it's time for damage. Let me see if we can use sex awakening skill before he attacks. Maybe we'll see what happens. Nope. But I'm not going to go for that. Oh, it done it for me. But that's okay. At least we get some basic attacks, buff up. It should always come first. I should use J. Now we getting more damage. Yeah, I remind to build up Jade. But yeah. I guess not at that moment. Ah, audio skill. All right, but most importantly, it's damage dealers like DPR, and it done it for me. Now he's on berserk mode, so that means he his damage is gonna get stronger. But if heroes can handle. But if you have higher max build up, then you should be able to survive good. Okay, see recording. Alright, alright. Now that's his berserk mode one. Let's see, can we get this? Can we get this? Yep, now his Berserk Mode 2. I get that a lot. If you've done enough damage, then it won't allow you to keep going. As you see, he's on his Berserker Mode 2. Alright, so that was fun guys, and I almost there trying to get Roro, 
The event is still going. Yep. Still going to the event. But no chance. But anyway, that's it for this video today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe to Keep Lumen for more 7 Nights and other gaming videos.